<laughs> yeah, WG DOWG back up in this thing once again. And comedian impersonator Luke Young the third got to meet the person he's probably most popular for impersonating. That is Coach Prime, none other than Deion Sanders and family at the Colorado facilities as he brought his family there to check out and meet Coach Prime. He was also able to meet the kicker Alejandro Mata, who was subject of one of his most popular skits. But here's the thing. Uh, a lot of people don't know Lou Young III, he used to be a college football player. He used to be a pro football player. And get this, his college position coach slash defensive coordinator at Georgia Tech, he is none other than Charles Kelly, the current defensive coordinator for Coach Prime at Colorado. But now the once promising cornerback has millions of followers on all social media platforms because of his creative content that he produces himself on his social media pages. So we're gonna kick it over to learn more about Lou Young the third, the athlete, the person, the player, the comedian, the whatever you wanna call him. Let's kick it over to my uncle, the big boss dog. Former NFL cornerback Lou Young the third is still dreaming. Though the goal has gone from a Super Bowl ring to an Oscar. This actor, comedian, and former athlete has high hopes. It's the boss dog, back with another big dog Chico sports update. This one is brought to you by Alkaline Life's Complete Health Gummies. Click the link below and get your health in check. Remember to subscribe to this channel and smash the like button. Young was in Carolina from 2014-16 amid a roller coaster NFL career that saw him bounce around six teams in five years, mainly on practice squads. He saw his only in-game action for six Panthers games in 2016 and was on the roster in 2015, but inactive for Super Bowl 50. Today, Young is an online content creator whose comedy videos reach millions of views across TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube, and his ambition goes beyond the digital space. My ultimate goal is movies, TV shows, blockbusters, off their headlining shows, hosting Saturday Night Live, Young said, being on The Tonight Show, talk shows, walking red carpets, Emmy Awards, and Oscars while having my own platform at the same time and being behind the scenes. I like to help people create things. Young's NFL career ended in Arizona, where he was waived before the 2018 season. While rehabbing a hamstring injury, he started making videos, a lot of impersonations, and relatable comedy to lighten his spirits through a tough time. Young said he had told friends since childhood that his dream was to play professional football and become an actor and his class clown reputation made him an in-house media favorite during his college years at Georgia Tech. He always liked being in front of a camera so leaning on comedy videos made sense. Young joined the now defunct Alliance of American Football in 2019 while keeping up with his content hobby while practicing football during the day before practicing his art at home every night. When the AF shut down in April, Young moved forward with content creation. Literally the day it ended, I just went full head of steam into this comedy and acting thing. Young said, and I haven't looked back since. He learned to edit from a close friend and videos started to gain traction in 2019 thanks to his Steve Harvey impersonation. Harvey himself took notice of Young Schlieve Harvey bit and flew him to a family feud taping in Los Angeles which gave the former football player a taste of what it's like to act in front of a live crowd. I didn't really know that I was going to be in front of a live audience. He just kind of put me out there and I credit football and playing in front of big crowds. Once the stage is set I like performing with the lights. Young went on to refine his editing skills through the COVID-19 pandemic and continued to post content, drawing inspiration from current events and personal experiences everywhere, including working out at the gym, to going to the grocery store with his six-year-old daughter. I got cut a lot and I got signed a lot, Young said. I spend a lot of time in the front office with coaches and meetings. Sometimes I make fun of people getting cut because I was one of them. I know how to impersonate coaches on and off the field in meeting rooms, how they walk and how they talk. I impersonate my father also. I impersonate how different players act including celebrities, trending topics and I kind of remix it and put my own twist on it. The Carolina Panthers content department came calling this past year, recruiting Young to act in a hype video ahead of the Panthers week 10 Thursday night matchup with the Falcons. Young, who had last been in the building five years ago when he was released from the team, was at Bank of America Stadium that night for the game. And when the video played on the video board before kickoff, he was in awe of it all. I'm at the game, and I'm interacting with fans. And I didn't have that type of impact when I had that helmet on, Young said. But I'm in those crowds with the fans, and people run up to me. We're taking pictures, laughing. They're telling me what videos they love, what they can relate to. The next thing you know, my face is on the big screen. Now almost four years into creating content full-time, 
Yang has gone from a one-man operation to hiring two videographers. Though he still edits all of his videos, I'm very passionate about it. It's going to take me a long way, Yang said. Whether I'm on camera or behind the camera, I think I'm taking this somewhere. I don't even know where it's going, but it just keeps climbing every day. So I'm just taking it straight to the top. For more sports info and to support this YouTube channel like me, subscribe and click the website below. Young said the impact he's able to have now feels greater than when he played football, and he finds fulfillment in his path. I'm able to reach and touch people way more than I did when I had a football helmet on or playing football, so I'm blessed, Young said. Comedy helped my pain, and I just want to help everybody else the same. It's the D-O-double-G, and I'm out. And there it is. The boss dog letting you know about Lou Young, the third, a young goat in the making. If he could do what Country Wayne has been doing and dropping those uh, skits and vlogs or whatever constantly on YouTube, then there's nothing but up for this guy for him to go in the future. Shout out to Lou. It's great to see former athletes like myself uh, transitioning into something new that's fulfilling for them. So thanks for everybody out there watching. If you listened this long, I appreciate you officially a big dog. Make sure you hit the like. Make sure you comment and let me know you watched this long. And uh, we'll hit you with more and more and more. Let me know what you think. Leave a like, subscribe, comment on the other good stuff. We're about to say, peace and peace.